Like the treatment, thought it was a good idea. My smart agent told me it's something I should look at, and so I did. Turns out that he was right. The overall idea is that Pharrell's making a track in his mind, auditioning, adding, subtracting instrumentation to get to the final goal of this track that then gets dropped in the club. What really works the best is when opposites attract. When one person is one particular way, but then somebody else is bringing a very different mix together and you kind of slam it together. As far as the casting went, it was pretty clear that we needed to cast real musicians. I've been fortunate enough to have the opportunity to play with uh, Christina Aguilera. I was her first drummer. Stevie Starlight, he's living his dream. He's as is, he's great. I have a power trio currently. It's kind of a Hendrix sound. Uh, meets David Bowie with Grand Funk Railroad. Roy Gaines, the blues man, obviously he comes dressed as is and that's his thing. Rats in my kitchen, mosquitoes all around my screen. Man, I got ten surrounding me, hounding me. One of the great things for us about shooting this in LA was the ability to use the resource of instruments and the drums and guitars and the things that we could actually get our hands on higher. The uh, Ludwig 1928 Black Diamond Pearl set. I believe Charles Connor was playing that in the spot. Here's a set that you just can't find things like that anymore. Pharrell kind of reminds me of the uh, Johnny Depp of music. Amazing producer, legendary in the making if you think about the prolific work he's done. I think he's a fine, creative artist, a lot of confidence and everything. I think he's one of the greatest. Authenticity is everything. As a person that like prides myself on perfection and striving to do the right thing, authenticity is so high to me in my life, and so I try to stay pure. How you start is everything. The best mixed drinks start pure. Smell off.